Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Urvi. If you're new here, I would like it if you would take a moment to subscribe to my channel as it would encourage me to make more such helpful videos for you. Make sure you watch this video till the end as I will be making an important announcement there. In this video, I will be talking about the different font styles, alignment, Canva and certain other useful tricks that can be handy while making your slides. You can check part 1 and part 2 of this series from the link on your screen. If you want to highlight a point, use bold as it makes the text stand out. Use regular or baseline text in your body. Italic has the reverse function of bold. You don't have to scan a slide to look for a text in bold. But to see italic, you need to scan the slide. For example, here are three words written in italic. Since italic is slightly less important, we use it for footnotes. Now, moving on to alignment. In a word document, we generally prefer to justify the alignment of our text, but in PowerPoint, it creates unnecessary space between letters and makes the text hard to read. So either align to the left or the center. If you don't want to use PowerPoint's basic templates, then you can browse to Canva as it has templates for various categories. You can select presentations and find a list of templates. Here, I'm selecting company presentations and picking one template for editing. After you're satisfied with your slide, you can check how it will look while presenting. You can save the slide as a PDF by clicking download or you can save them in PowerPoint. I will now be talking about certain useful tricks that you can count on. This first trick is used to make sure that two or more objects are at the same level in a slide. To do this, I move the first vector image and a smart guideline appears which allows me to match the level of the second vector image. I would encourage you to use different text box instead of putting everything in the main body. For example, in this slide, the first vector image is only related to the first line in my main body. So I would cut that line and add it to a new text box and arrange it below the image to make it clear. And now, I am doing the same process for the second image. If I want my image and text to move as one object, I will first select the image, press shift and then select the text box. Now, I will right click on it and find the group option. This will let me move both of them together. In this slide, I want to insert the vector image inside the circle. For doing the same, I will place the circle in front of the image and then right click on it and find the send to back option. I can also align the image in the center with the help of the smart guidelines. Finally, to make sure that the circle and the image move together, I will group them. If you want to align any text in the middle of the slide, you can first select the text, go to the Arrange option and then go to Align and select Middle. Hello everyone, thank you for being such an amazing audience. I want to share that I am soon starting a course on designing presentations on YouTube itself. I hope you appreciate it as much as you appreciated my previous videos. If you like this video, don't forget to share it and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any related videos from this series.